2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. The city of Atlanta is the scene for the Bucks. A duo with exceptional playoff credentials. Giannis onto the... Eastern Conference Finals action. Poi and a 2-0 series. The DH. Well, thank you, Kevin. Clint Capella's game is based... <laughs> you already do. <laughs> you and he are winning players. David, thank you. Here are the starters for Milwaukee. And forward, they have Middleton and Giannis. Holiday out there with Allen. And it's MP in at the center, filling out the middle. And for the Hawks, on the wings, Herder and Reddish. Gallinari is out there with Clint Capella. And it's right in at the point guard position. We'll take a look at the Hawks. Down to none. They got a win tonight to get some traction in the series. And if they lose this one, you can forget about advancing. It's more likely you're trying to avoid a sweep. So tonight's all or nothing. And that's Takumbo gets it to go. Well, that, that's one way he can finish, but far from the only way he gets it done. He's got all kinds of tricks up his sleeve. And right kicks to Gallinari. Passes it to Capella. Pocket six. And stolen by MP. We're about one minute into the first. Over in the corner, Allen. MP passes to Middleton. The Bucks working the ball around. MP, no good. Onari finds right. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. Oh, fellas, that was vicious to end. Monster slam. Guys, I don't think there was anyone who could have stopped him on that one. Out to Gallinari. Shot clock at five. Three-pointer. And the rejection by Giannis. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Ante Dekumbo has got his second bucket tonight. So strong. Giannis has really added some bulk since entering the league. Helps him absorb the contact. Alinari is surveying the D. Giannis with some nice D. And you can see the defender's afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. And that's the pressure Holiday puts on your defense. Sees the opportunity, gets his shot inside. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Right dishes to Gallinari. Going inside, and Chris Middleton pulls it down. And so it's Middleton with it. He brings it up for Milwaukee. They lead by four. Saturday was a great victory for them. And that one was all about offensive execution. Running your plays, picking your spots. That was the key message going in. Be efficient. Everyone was on the same page, and you got a chance to see the results. And now the first timeout called here for the Hawks. Uh, let's see if Coach can get them back on the right track. Because right now it feels like the pace is being dictated to them. They need to go back to playing their brand of basketball. Here, Jang, he's checked in for Capella. Okongwu comes in for Gallinari. Johnson, he's checked in for Reddish. And it's Bogdanovich in for Kevin Herter. And then for Milwaukee, 
Portis is checked in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Jones comes in for Chris Middleton. And it's Pat Connington in for Allen. And the slam dunk by Johnson. Such a versatile player. Bondanovich does a great job reading the floor and finding his teammates. And the basket is good. MP's got his second bucket of the game to go. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. Here's Okongwu. And Okongwu slams it in. And, and although an undersized center, more than making up for it with some serious hops. Back to MP. Last holiday. Port is trying to free himself. Off on the layup. The Hawks trail by four. Right with it. Driving in. And the dunk by Wright. And that's a special play coming from the one spot. You know, his passing can take a backseat for that dunk. Wow. It just shows you the versatility. This guy can do a lot of different things for you. Woo-wee. That's the pass you want. Orchestrating the offense, creating for others. 44 seconds left to play in the first quarter. And Bogdanovich picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. Defense doesn't get much better than the mobile one block we just saw on replay. And this is postseason play at its finest. Refusing to give up shots here in the playoffs. Here's MP. Score the basket. His fourth. He's only missed one of his five shots tonight. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Shot and game clock separated by five. Johnson left side. And Okongwu has it in the corner. Back to Johnson. The pass to right. Pulls up. Will not go. This is off the front eye. Here's Connaughton. And that does it for the first quarter. Bucks ahead. Up six. He'll be back shortly live from State Farm Arena. And we're back with you, all set to bring you more action from Game 3. And what stands out to you from the Bucks in this one? Throughout the first quarter, they did a great job of just running the offense. Credit the game plan coming in. They've identified the right matchups, and the execution is there. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. On the court right now for the Hawks. Johnson is out there with Okongwu. Then there's Bogdanovich. Then it's DeLon Wright. And it's Stevenson in at the three. And the Bucks making a change here. Ojale is checked in. Cousins, the pass to MP. Here's Connaughton. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Well, MP in the last matchup against the Hawks lit up the floor. He finished with 14 points. And it seemed like every shot he put up was going in. That's how dialed in he was. They're winning games all over the place, and he's been a factor in that success. His confidence has to be soaring. Kevin? Thanks, David. He took command, and Craig really led the fight for his team. You like someone who's willing to take control, but, but then again, tonight could turn out to be a different story. Whether he's scoring, facilitating, hitting the glass, his focus is just to provide whatever they need for the win. Wright finds Johnson. Top Stevenson. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. To the wing right side. Second quarter of action. About a minute and a half played. The Bucks working the ball around. It's good. MP's got the lead up to 11 now for the Bucks. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Right against Holiday. And the slam dunk by Johnson. 
And hard to decide which was better, the pass, the catch, or the slam. Well, there's no wrong answer. Sens <laughs> sensational alley-oop. Here's Ojale. He's guarded by Stevenson. Stolen by Stevenson. the wing Johnson right outside six to shoot out to the right wing the Hawks need to get off a shot here offensive rebound Bucks leading by nine to the paint and stolen by Wright Castro Kongwu from 10 feet out can't get it to fall and he's missed the second after making his first Two minutes MP minutes. passes to Cousins Two and it's sent back by Okongwu MP outside here's Ojale good and the assist goes to MP MP's got three assists tonight and of the last six baskets, five have come on the end. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. on the floor. So it's Milwaukee heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They're pounding the ball inside. And here we go. Heading back to the action here on the Eastern Conference Final. You look at MP in this game, guys, he has been everywhere. Yeah, the passing he brings to the table on full display through the first two quarters. The engine that makes them run, he's been able to push the action, and he's making great decisions. Setting the floor for the Bucs. Longtime teammates Middleton and Giannis, the forwards. Allen is out there with Holiday. And it's MP in at the five, roaming the paint. Capella, and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. You know, this is part of the book on defending Capella. Teams often try to make him earn his points at the line. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Well, probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that much. Absolutely. Bucks leading by eight. Allen outside. Dishes it to MP. He kicks to Middleton. Back to MP. To the inside. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Capella. What you like about Capella as a shot blocker is the patience. He waits until the shooter commits. And we just got a second look there at the exceptional mobile one block. And that block was something. It's the playoffs. And every possession and defensive stop matters. Herter passes to right. Kicks it to Reddish. It's right on the wing. Shot clock at six. 20 feet out. Off the left rim and out. And it's Antetokounmpo with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. They lead by 11, the largest margin of the game. Inside, here's Wright. The shot will not fall. Good defense by MP. Down low. 
That one, no good. So Atlanta will take it the other way. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. And the dunk by Capella. You see the vertical. Clint Capella way above the rim with one or two hands. Outside Holiday, it's Allen on the win. The Bucks working the ball around. Kept alive. They shoot again. And it's out of the Kumbo with that the bucket inside. Andre DeCumbo has got the lead up to 11 now for the Bucks. Gallinari outside. Passes to Capella. It's right on the wing. Andre DeCumbo defending. Right dishes to Capella. And he banks in the lane. Capella's got five points now in the quarter. This is where Clint Capella makes his bread, imposing his will in the paint. And it goes down two points. That's a beautiful location on the pass, as usual. Led his man perfectly. Time called here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. You look at Enetokounmpo really making a difference here. And he has absolutely worn them out in the paint. They, they need to come up with a plan to limit his touches in the interior. And the Hawks will go for a different look here. Okay. Buck substitution. And here's Reddish. Pass to Herder. Outside Bogdanovich. They grab their own miss. And it's Capella missing. Offensively, that's how you want to end the possession, except for the result. Clint Capella is out there with Johnson. Then it's Reddish. Then there's Bogdanovich. And it's Herter in at the point. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. Just five on the clock. Middleton finds MP. The Bucks need to get a shot off here. Gordis can't get it to go. The Hawks trail by 16. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. A shot by Reddish, no good. The pass to Connaughton. He feeds it to MP. Outside Holiday. Back to MP. It's stolen by John. And here's the fast break. And the tough by Capella. This is the power Capella plays with. He doesn't mess around this close to the rim. To the middle. And so Milwaukee again turning it over. On the board here in the fourth still. Alinari, he's checked in for the Hawks. DeLon Wright comes in for Bogdan Bogdanovich. And Milwaukee with a change here too. Allen's checked in. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. Now that's what I call a momentum changer. Yeah, when you've got a point guard with that kind of spring, no lead is safe. You're totally right. That can be a shot in the arm for them. A spark that turned things around. Allen left side. It's stolen by Capella. At the elbow, it's Reddish. And Reddish with the slam. Defensive awareness wins Capella that steal, which he smartly turns into a fast break. Here's MP. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. That's 12 points for MP. Man, just adding insult to injury. He just waltzes inside and extends this lead. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. Gallinari kicks to right. Driving the lane. Uses the glass to finish the lane. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. MP passes to Portis. Middleton on the wing. There's the dish to MP. Allen outside. Now here's Middleton. Not a lot of room. A nice oh, shot by MP. The correct decision to his wide open teammate Chris, a terrific passer off the wing. Has to go on up. Over MP. 
Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. How about the concentration? He gets hit but stays with the play and gets the finish. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Milwaukee. What tremendous passing we've seen from them today. A very unselfish performance all around. Yeah, but don't forget about their points in the paint because those have been big. MP passes to Holiday. And Capella sends it back. Here's Rex. Unable to get that one. Great D that time for Middleton. Think burn some clock if they want to. And get a little breather as well. Middleton on the wing. Back to MP. Outside Holiday. Here's Allen. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. And now we can start talking about game four. What a magnificent effort and, and really a significant victory for Milwaukee. You know, a team can have a great shooting night without getting a lot of assists, but tonight they had both. Yeah, and listen, you only get the assist if the guy you give it to makes the shot. So a lot of assists will up your field goal percentage, but this was a great team effort by everyone. And they're going to roll to their third straight victory to open up these conference finals, giving them a commanding series lead. Yeah, a sweep seems just about inevitable right now. And with the way they've been playing here in this series, they are building a ton of momentum for the finals, especially if they can close out the sweep in game four. And while it's a team game, you can't win without guys showing up. And that was the case tonight for MP. He really played at his preferred pace. Never let adjustments by the defense speed him up or slow him down. MP left side. Releases from 15. Misses there. High level defensive potential for Cam Reddish. He's active and versatile. And add in the length, he can cover a lot of distance. And so it's the Bucks taking care of business in this one. You have to think at this point, up three zip. It's only a matter of time now, Greg, until this series is in the books. Uh, you know, this victory all but seals the deal. As strong as they look throughout this game and this series, I'll be shocked if they don't close it out in game four. And so this one is in the books. We hope you've enjoyed being with us for the Eastern Conference Finals. For Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.